Regardless of what you may have heard, cassettes are not dead. In fact, they are very much alive. And since Cassette Store Day was founded in 2013, they've started to become more and more popular. So today, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about cassettes. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New and today we're going to talk about how you can get started playing tapes and we're also going to cover the two main companies that are still releasing high quality blank cassettes for you to make mixtapes with. And we'll also talk about the most popular cassette labels that are releasing brand new music in 2017 on the cassette format. Now, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. The more thumbs in the air, the more videos are gonna come your way. Also, I made another video a while back about cassettes, which is also a good introduction to the format. So be sure to check that one out if you haven't already. Now, first off, let's check out these awesome gold cassettes and then I'll tell you guys where you can find them. Okay, so here we got these really awesome looking gold painted cassettes that I ordered from a company called Tapeline, which is based in the UK. And Tapeline is one of the two main companies companies that is still manufacturing blank cassette tapes. And on their website, they have lots of other cool cassette colors and accessories available. So if you like cool looking cassettes, you should definitely check them out. Now the other company that still makes high quality blank tapes is called National Audio Company based out of Springfield, Missouri in the United States. And a really cool thing about NAC is that they still make type two chrome tapes, which are of a higher quality than the standard type one ferric tapes. And the other day I actually called them up and they said they're gonna stop making the 90 minute chrome tapes and are only gonna make these 60 minute versions. So after I heard that, I went straight to Amoeba Records in Hollywood and I stocked up, as you can see right here. So being that I have so many of these damn tapes now, I'm definitely gonna make a lot of mixtapes for my friends. And if you guys wanna pick up these awesome chrome tapes, I'll put the link down below in the description of this video. Now, speaking of making your own mixtapes and playing cassettes, you're probably gonna need some sort of a cassette player to do that. Well, personally, I prefer these Sony cassette decks from the late 80s to the mid 90s, and you can still find some of these that are in good condition on eBay. The one I personally picked up was from 1995, and it works amazing. I love it. I paid 200 bucks for it, and it sounds great. Now, if you don't wanna make mixtapes and all you wanna do is play music on cassettes, then you could check out this player, which I did a video about a little while ago. Now, just to warn you, portable players don't sound nearly as good as proper cassette decks. They are not hi-fi by any stretch. But if you're not that concerned about sound quality, then this is a decent little player that's not gonna chew up your tapes. So if you want, you can check that out. Now what's cool about cassettes is that in addition to companies manufacturing blank tapes that you can record on, there's also a ton of new record labels releasing brand new music on the cassette format in 2017, which is awesome. Since Cassette Store Day, more and more young adults have gotten into buying tapes of their favorite indie bands, which has definitely helped several online cassette labels to thrive. So here are some of those really cool cassette labels that you should definitely check out. And I'll have the links to all of these in the video description below. Number one, Burger Records. These guys are super cool because they release something like 300 cassettes every single year. So they're definitely a huge influence on this growing cassette culture. And they have an online store as well as two record store locations, one in Fullerton, California, and one in Los Angeles called Nar Burger. Number two, Sanity Muffin. These guys are based in Oakland, California, and in addition to having lots of really unique music on their website, what really sets them apart is that they release all of their music in small batches on type two chrome tapes, which is definitely a higher sound quality than the normal type one tapes like we just mentioned. So I think that's really cool that they do that. Number three, Post Pop Records. This is another great cassette label based out of London, and they also put a lot of thought into the artwork of each and every tape that they release. Number four, Lost Sound Tapes. This lo-fi tape label is based in Seattle, Washington, and they represent several indie folk bands in that area. So if you really like indie folk music and wanna discover some new artists, you should definitely check them out. Number five, United Cassettes. Now I'm not sure where these guys are from because it didn't give any information on their website, but they are also another newer cassette label that's been releasing quality music. And also on their site, they call themselves a cassette movement. I think that's pretty cool. 
Number six, Tape Club Records. This record label is also based in London, UK, just like Post Pop Records, and although they release less music in general, each release is very unique and experimental, so they're definitely worth a visit as well. And finally, number seven, Blue Tapes. This label is also, yet again, from the UK. I guess the Brits really love their music on physical formats like cassettes and, of course, vinyl records. Now, on their Bandcamp page, Blue Tapes describes their music as secular drones and spiritual pop. And after previewing a couple of their releases online, I can definitely agree with that. And my top favorite artist on their site was a band called Wild Anima, which was Blue Tape's release number 22. They have a really cool ambient sound with distant chanting and reverb thrown in there for good measure. They're really trippy, so be sure to check them out on cassette as well. Now, I'm sure there's a ton of other cassette labels out there, but I just simply didn't have enough time to mention them all in this one video. So what do you guys think about this growing cassette culture? Do you think it's cool? Or do you think it's just for hipsters? Let us all know down in the comments below. And if you love music, join the Vinyl Army and hit subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna wanna miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All of my social media links are down in the video description below. And most importantly, guys, have a great day and keep spinning that vinyl. I could stare at this thing all day.